Hi, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we are going to take a little bit Libra today, and we're going to talk about the rest of July. Of course, whenever you find this reading, that's when this reading is meant for you. All right. Um, divinely guided is what I'm hearing. You will be divinely guided to this at the right time. There's probably going to be quite a few of you too, Libra. Uh, I don't think Libra really reaches out through tarot the way that other signs do. So hopefully we can find the balance that you guys need, that you're, you're constantly searching for. Okay, New moon energy getting ready to come up and it's in Cancer. Uh, something that will affect you. Okay, It's going to affect everybody. The comet. That's another thing that I channeled, guys. Neo-wise, excuse me, I pulled the cord. Um, Neo Wise is uh, doing its thing and is definitely a part of our solar system. It is leading us into a new segment. It's leading us into a new energy in August where change is coming. It could be some destruction, but it's going to be destruction in the form of transformation into something even bigger. Okay, Libra? And I think you'll see it because you'll see the natural disasters. There's going to be natural disasters, yeah. I actually wrote that down. Okay. Uh, we are at war. We are at war. I don't want those. I just don't. Spirit, we ask that you provide Libra with the best possible message at this time. What do they need to know? Knight of Rods, taking action, quick action, messenger activity, messages coming in. Libra, we're actually going to do it a little bit differently today. Yeah. Some sort of action, but you're being blocked. You're still thinking about something because this is the opposite. It's the exact opposite. Action you want to take could possibly be blocked. What else do you have for Libra, please? This is regarding finance of some sort. We have King of Pentacles. We also have Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There are quite a few of you that could be going through some issues right now regarding your uh, work, your labor force. I'm hearing that you could be the conglomeration here. Yeah, some sort of a recent past apologies. Information, guidance coming in. Um, could be from a Sagittarius. Could have an apology coming from a Sagittarius. But mm, this is a control issue. Listen, I'm, I'm really picking up on a company. I'm picking up on something larger here. What a company's choice is going to be. Trying to do what is right. Yeah, see how there's someone here. This is the person who runs the empire is having to make a decision. They're on guard about it. There's going to be some unhappy people. And, and not only that, I feel like this is someone who is truly a leader and he's looking for information about how to uh, make this work. Aries, I mean, you could be a very, I don't know why you could be a very masculine feminine. You could have something that is like joint, like um, you, again, this is, if you were to take sexual orientation out of it, that would be good too. It's, it's more like a... It's just situational is what it is. It's not personal. They're saying it's situational. Tell me what's crowning this spread, please. What's crowning this spread? Sorry if the camera's shaking, guys. Ooh, that's a lot to be crowning spread. Harmon energy is what we're going to be taking because it knocked this over. This is what the, um, you know, contradicting energy is. What What is this? Okay, so the action towards happiness. You got to make plans here. You have to make plans. There is, there, there, someone is planning on happiness. Libra, I'm going to say that this is you. You're going to, to step into your power here. What is Saturn? This is, um, I'm hearing Saturn, but Queen of, Ro Queen of Rods is actually Mars. So we talked about that masculine energy, but do you see how feminine she is? Yeah, the, the femininity, femininity taking charge here. Libra slowly at that 
This hermit energy is someone who is going within and choosing to meditate and to think about the abundance. Things have been going well. The, the masculine energy has done things nicely, but there's, there's new information coming in that needs to be blended here. Thank you. Give me one more. There is a thunderstorm outside, if you guys can hear that rain. I got... My ringer is off, and I got a whole bunch of messages very, very quickly saying, Hey, are you okay? You know, the wow. When the weather really rolls through here, it really rolls through here. Next six months or so, period, you're looking at a situation of um, having strength, being able to tame a situation, calm a situation down. You're looking for transformation. Okay? Libra. Libra, you, wow, you're going to find some really interesting insight I'm hearing when it comes to this hermit energy. Yep. Hopes, fears, and wishes. Hopes, fears, and wishes. Check that out. You want to be able to give, but at the same time, you don't want to lose. You want things to stay balanced. Yeah, you want to keep your money. Overall energy right there. Okay. Judgment card. There's going to be a final decision here. The clarity on that judgment card is the action that's going to be taken. Oh, there's going to be some deception. Somebody's going to take care of themselves first here, is what I just heard. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to take care of themselves first here. This is the hopes and fears. Other people. There, there could be some sort of layoffs coming, Libra. There also, if we're speaking on love here, this could be um, a decision where you have a fire sign who is not truthful about the details that they are giving you. This could be that fire sign, the same fire sign here if you are thinking of that person. There, there might be a break in the relationship with them. I have hangman at the bottom of the deck. Love offer, yeah, there, there's a love, someone emotionally balanced, there's an ending here, okay, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there actually could be a death here, you know, someone's in transformation state, death has come out twice, King of Pentacles, down here at the bottom of the deck, there could be an ending of, here look, judgment, you also have judgment and you have three of cups, this is something to do with definitely other people, um, I am picking up on nurses. I'm picking up on hospitals. Libra. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, please. Moving forward. Moving forward to the truth. Logical decisions regarding finance. New opportunities and keeping secrets. This is keeping secrets. Listen, this is the deception here. Now, but this is intuitively knowing that a new path needs to come. Yeah, you guys, I just, I feel like there's people that are going to be losing their jobs. There's going to be an end to an emotional stability that certain people have. Uh, most people are getting ready to go into a state of, you know, things are going to be stopping. Things are going to be slowing down, Libra. Tell me about these finances here, moving forward. Yeah, betrayal. Ooh. Tell me, is this an earth sign? I think this is this is more about finance for right now. If I see something else, I'll let you know. Especially since we have this hermit energy here. Okay. Um, this is there's going to be some sort of ending betrayal. There is a new opportunity coming in that is blocked right now by the universe. Interesting. Because there is a pain that you still have to work on. There is a deception. This third party here. Something's going to be blocked by the universe, guys. What you're hoping and wishing, for some reason, it's not panning out. Okay, It is going to cause some stress. It's going to cause some worry, fear, anxiety towards finances. Um, but this is more of a, um, a reading to say... 
get your plans together for this unexpected moment so that you can continue to love yourself. You have a bond here with someone that, that is actually going to help you bring in victory here. Okay? When delay starts to set in. It's destiny. Yeah, see, look, it's karmic. This person is going to come in and offer you something. Page of Cups. See? They probably already did. There they are right there. Wow. Tell me about this temperance and Page of Cups, please. Yep, work. Something working here. Okay. All right. So, I want you guys to be careful. Because here I'm seeing a fire sign here, Libra. I'm seeing the fire sign here as well. You also have an earth sign that's right here. This is about finance right now. Definitely. You also have Leo energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's some sort of ending. There could be an ending between a fire sign and a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, there was definitely conflict with this. Recent past. You also could have a fire sign. Yeah, you have a fire sign that really does love and, and offers you support and stability. See the sun. Someone who who's happy. Like, the, again, Leo energy, this strength here. Double... Very passionate about you. This is a passionate connection, by the way. Wow. Yeah. Okay. For some of you guys... For some of you guys, I could see an offer coming in um, where if you're not dating anybody right now, you know, like if you're going to move into a new situation because that's what this is, it might be someone you work with. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Too many. Way too many. I did see the nine of um, cups. So, you know, kind of wish fulfillment here. Tell me about the hermit, please. That's too many. Kind of dropping my cards. Okay. Tell me about the hermit. Thank you. Libra. Temperance again. The fire sign and the, the earth sign. You need to... Im oh. Strength. So I feel like, Libra, you're dealing with a fire sign and, and, and a water sign here. There's some sort of break. There's some sort of ending here. And it could be the ending is on the, the water sign side. I don't like this betrayal. It's a betrayal by the water sign. You need to see it. There's a betrayal by the water sign. It's funny though because this fire sign, they're telling you that they're family, right? And this judgment here, it talks about this fire sign and what it is that they're going to be doing. And, and this deception. Tell me about this deception. It's truth, though. Something is revealed here. Revealed about a third-party situation that they walked away from. Or that you are going to have to walk away from. Yes. Look at that. This is soulmate union here. Gemini, you have a Gemini, Hermit, and Temperance in your energy. Sagittarius, Virgo. Multiple options here. There's confusion and instability. But the strength is coming to push forward. Destiny is here helping you, saying, hey, go ahead and be on the defense. 
this death that your energy, this transformation, is because you're seeing the truth about this Virgo energy. You're seeing the truth when you actually go inside and listen to what God's word is about the choices you have to make regarding multiple options. This is you. They're speaking to you. Seeing the truth. Okay. Transforming a situation here. Yes. Manifesting. Someone, the, the other, the energy around you is a manifestation that's blocked right now. Manifesting blockages. Karmic justice, though. You're at the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of deception with the universe here. Manifesting blockages. They're walking away from manifestations that have been blockages. Libra. There's a truth getting ready to come in that you really just need to take a look at. I think you need to take a deeper look at yourself. Yeah, look at that. The sun and the devil. It's going to be revealing toxicity. I, whatever it is that you go in and internally see here, it's a reveal of toxicity. It's drama. And I feel like once you release that, there's that emperor energy. Once you release that, you, you'll feel so much better. You'll feel in control. Okay? Yeah. I, there's, there's like a hidden regret. A hidden regret. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. There's burdens that need to be released regarding whatever it is that you're fearing here. Um, the back and forth, where your money is going to be coming from, whether or not, who are you in this energy? That's drama, again. Who are you in this? Are you the person who needs the handout, or are you, Libra, the person who's actually providing? That's for you to determine here. Definitely for you to determine. Ace of Swords. Talk to me. I, I'm hearing talk to me. Taking the opportunity to truly see the, like the writing on the wall. And you'll see it when other people leave you. You're just going to see the truth about, I don't know. There's going to be other people that walked away. Something about other people walking away as well. Yeah, there's a deception behind it. There's something that's not being shown clearly as to why people left. Total dissatisfaction. There was something that had to stop. Okay, tell me about this judgment. Tell me about this outcome for judgment. Yes. Going back and forth. Reconciliation. It's your life. Look, Nine of Pentacles, again, here and here. Going back and forth about abundance. Page of Cups. Libra, I don't know. I just, I got this sense of maybe you have some individuals around you that argue about money. Could be because of a, a younger child or something like that. I, I do see that. Um, I'm doing this because I want to pull in the energy and finalize it here and I just want to see this I've never done this before but we're gonna do this and we're gonna say okay so end result here after everything that we just talked about is that there is transformation coming okay stay in your your stay in your um, your right mind your seers eye you saw something you saw something regarding a fire sign there's definitely some confusion coming in multiple options headed toward your abundance, right? But you need to be on the defense because there is a toxicity that you have not owned up to yet. You know, I think others around you might not see this toxicity that you're holding on to, um, but there's going to come a break. And here's this same break that's here, okay? Maybe an ending with the Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I think you've got at least three or four people here. Um, but I also see... You know, in all of this other energy, 
you're not going to be accepting of any lies and deceit okay the truth is the only thing that you're going to be willing to accept from others at this time and you're going to walk away from anything that does not uh, feel right any sort of deception any offer that comes to you you probably won't be accepting at this time you want to do things on your own you're, you're good at managing things on your own right now Libra that's just kind of how you feel you felt that same way you felt it the entire reading all the way through okay so I'm gonna get you a healing message and actually I, I feel like there's a few of you that have been thinking you need to be going to church and you have not made those choices to do so I'm not sure why you didn't make the choice to go to church. That's up to you. You don't, you know, everybody to each his own. Church can be in a church home or church can be where you make home. In your heart, in your mind space. Okay. I feel like I feel like you've been messed with. I honestly do. I feel like spirit has, there's been something so negative around you that has finally been revealed. I feel like the devil is happy when you're in your, your, when you're in your quiet place because it likes to mess with you and you need to come up out of that. It's not suicidal, but I'll tell you what, if it is thoughts of suicide, Libra, you should contact the suicide prevention hotline. Because they're going to tell you the exact same thing I'm going to tell you. You're loved. You are respected. You're kind and you're considerate. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me to focus my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. Look at the power behind this archangel. This is that fire sign too. See how they have the bow there? This is the fire sign that's in your life. They might be making an offer that you don't accept. But I don't think that that's a problem. I think that with temperance being here. Temperance is also here. Okay. I think God is a choice for you. Or there's a higher calling for you. You just have to make the choice. And right now what's covering you is toxicity, Libra. I feel like whoever it is that you have around you doesn't necessarily... I, there, there's somebody else that's around you that recently came in. Someone that probably lives at a distance. But you're, the people that are around you directly, the energy around you, because it is toxic, might let you fail. It's been toxic for a long time, I just heard. Lean on God and support the, uh, excuse me, and the angels for your support. See, Archangel Michael. Dear God and angels, I give you this situation whatever it is you're going through now and completely i step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved yeah i totally feel that i feel that spirit yeah see look ask archangel michael to help you with this situation archangel michael thank you for assisting me please help me be filled with um faith and peace at all times check it out guys one of the things that has been going on with this toxicity um, is that we have to learn to say no to it. We have to learn to tell it to go away, that we don't want to deal with it, that it's done, it's over. You know, you've got other things that you need to be dealing with at this time. Balancing things out, fears, hopes and fears that you can release the burdens and come out of any negativity. Okay? Yeah, I don't feel like you're in this alone I feel like you just need to ask for support I really do I, I think that with the ten of cups or that ten of um, want or pentacles that came out it's a generational issue it is you know and one of the things just remember you are here and you are now you are here and you are now okay let me get one more for you guys because I feel like you just your soul needs it. Libra, what do you need to know? There it is. 
It says, the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Yeah, God makes his people strong, gives his people peace. 29.4 and 29.11. That's going to go with this. Lean on support. Lean on the support of God. He's here. You just need to talk to him and ask him. All right. Um, and those were, I think, yeah, I think I said it was Psalms, wasn't it? Okay. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you rocking with me today. I know this was a little bit longer than normal. It's like 26 minutes or so. Uh, GEC Empress Collection .etsy .com if you need me for anything personal. But other than that, I've had fun. Talk to you later. Peace and elbow grease.